Hey girl bosses, it's Fallon again from Girl Scouts of Northeast Ohio and I'm here to talk to you about this week's Teen CEO session. So this week is session five and we are talking about money, money, money. So what does that mean? We are going to talk about your key terms for the week so you're ready for your Kahoot review. So think about your Kahoot review. We are going to include key terms from weeks one, two, three, and four. But outside of that, let's talk about this week's key terms. Number one, seed money. What is seed money? So seed money is the money that you need to get your business or product started. What do you need to get it launched? The other thing we wanna talk about are expenses. We talked about those week one, but here we are at week five, talking a little bit more about them. So expenses. Expenses are things that you need to happen now. So what purchases you need to make sure happen now. Also, expenses could be bills to keep your business running. So say for instance, you open a, ba a babysitting business. Well, maybe you need some kind of kickball. Maybe you need crayons. Maybe you need some kinds of books to keep the kids that you're babysitting entertained. Those things would be expenses that you would then spend out of your seed money. Also, income. So income is all the money coming into your business. Um, think about the money that people are paying you to be able to provide that service or that product. So that's all deemed as income. Um, and then giving. So philanthropy. Giving is always important when you have a product or a service. You always want to give back to the community. So think about ways that you can use your money to help others. It could be donating to a charity. It could be buying supplies for people in need. All kinds of things that you can do that are philanthropic endeavors. And then finally, we're going to take some time and get to know Mr. Corey. So Corey Neves, uh, he has a cookie business. He's a successful entrepreneur. He's a kid. So get to know Mr. Corey's cookies as well. And then also, we are going to take some time to do a think outside the box activity. So you have three options for this. Number one, you can play a cool math game with Papa's Cupcakes. You can do two, make your own homemade cupcakes, but always, always check with your caregiver to make sure that that's okay. Or number three, you can create your dream cupcake um, and draw it up and think of all the things that you need to make this cupcake happen. So um, you have three options for that. So with that being said, I'm going to turn it over to your instructors and they can take some time to talk to you about those key terms and teach you this week's lesson. Alrighty girls, see you soon. Bye. Hi everyone, welcome back uh, to session five, all about money. Uh, today we're going to be delving into the money aspects of running your own business. My name is Miss Susan from Girl Scouts of Northeast Ohio and let's get started. Today for expenses, you'll see over here my Walmart shopping cart. It has decorating tips, um, eggs, oil, cupcake mix, and um, frosting. These are only some of the expenses that go into making cupcakes, but we're gonna talk about that and see how much you would actually need to start your own cupcake business. Hope you enjoy this. All right, so for expenses, first we have cupcake mix, which costs about $1.16. Then we have three eggs, which costs 30 cents. Frosting costs $1.50. Water doesn't cost much, so we're not gonna count that into the equation. Oil, though, costs 15 cents. And cupcake liners cost 25. So your total for 24 cupcakes would be $3.36 or 14 cents per cupcake. Now there are other one-time expenses that you need to consider. A stand mixer costs about $300. Cupcake pans cost $30 for two. Um, an oven would be $500. And decorating tips. Mmm, yummy, those look good. Okay, so as I was saying, Decorating tips, they cost about $4 for a package of them. Um, I'm not a master decorator, so, you know, I just bought the basic kind and 
I happened to have the um, bags that came with them. So here I am trying to make the cupcakes look nice. This one looks kind of like a poop emoji, so we're going to try something else. Some dots. Yeah, I like that. Next, I'd like you to think about income. How much would you charge per cupcake? Now, since mine aren't particularly fancy, I think $2 per cupcake is fair. Also, I want you to think about philanthropy, giving back to the community. Would you donate some of your cupcakes to another, to an organization? So today, you have three choices for your activity. You can play the Game Papa's Cupcakeria online, or you can make your own cupcakes as long as you have permission. Or finally, you could draw your dream cupcake and track the cost of each ingredient. Finally, how much would you charge for a cupcake? Think about your expenses, uh, income for yourself, and then giving back to the community. I'm looking forward to seeing your creations. Bye. Hey, girl bosses. So how did the Kahoot review go? I hope it was awesome. I hope you're starting to remember those terms. And also, how did your out of the box activity go? Did you one, decide to do the cool math game with Papa's cupcakes? Did you two, decide to go ahead and make your own cupcake? Or did you three, draw your own cupcake concept and work out all the details with it? You know we wanna see it. So make sure with your parent or caregiver's permission that you post your pictures in our Facebook group. That's it for now. So I'll catch you guys next week for session six. Peace out, Girl Scouts.